everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel and today we're going to make a low carb version of you know that long time classic the strawberry pretzel salad yeah but we're not going to do with the pretzels um, I'm going to use pecans pecans whatever whatever I feel like calling them today chopped them up stuff like that I am going to add some people do like a nut crust and they do sweetener with it I'm not gonna do that because really in there's zippers tail <laughs> um, in the pretzel version it's got the salt to it right so why would we put sweetener in the crust so oh wait here it goes again <laughs> so anyway um, I'm gonna add salt to the base of it so I'll make a simple kind of a nut crust we gotta bake that into the oven let it completely cool going to put some cream cheese on it. I am only making a small version because it's just my husband and myself and I don't want to waste it for the time that it takes to make this. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to make a probably like an 8 by 8 something like that. Obviously double this. It's easy to double. It's probably meant to be double but um, and you can make it in the big normal pan. So instead of 8 ounces of cream cheese I'm only going to use 4. Um, Instead of the big thing of sugar-free strawberry jello, I'm going to use just the little guy. And I have almond flour. I think I'm mixing that with the nuts. I can't remember. I'm kind of winging some of this. Um, strawberries. I have some strawberries I want to use up, so I'm going to be using that in this. That's why I'm doing this. Um, and the jello. Is there anything else that we need to know about? Your sweetener of choice, whatever you want there. Um, it takes a while because, you know, you got to put it in layers got to let the crust cool, then you got to put the softened cream cheese on. Um, <coughs> after you mix it with like a stevia or whatever you want to use. Um, yeah, so then, and you spread that all nice out, I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, then you make up your jello and you pour that on top. Anyway, we'll get there. So, anyway, I'm so excited to make this. My cousin, well, our cousin, it's really my husband's cousin, but really she's my cousin now. <laughs> so anyway, um, she, actually two of, I think two of them in the family, uh, either rotate or whatever, make it from time to time for family dinners and stuff, for holidays and stuff. It's so good. I just, oh, I love it. The original. So we're going to see if we get kind of close with this crust this way with a little bit of salt in it and go from there. But anyway, let's get going. Cheers. Okay, so in my little mini food processor here, I'm going to do one and a half cups. Oh, shit. Sorry, my bad. We're going to put it in the measuring cup first. <laughs> um, I will tell you, use whatever nuts you had. I was going to use walnuts, but I didn't have any. I thought I had them, but that's good enough. Um, so, yeah. And earlier when I said something about almond flour, I'm not using it in this recipe. Um, you can, you can make an almond flour crust if you want to do it that way. I just brought it up from downstairs in my pantry to refill my container and I couldn't remember why I brought it up. <laughs> so that's why it was sitting on the counter. Okay, so I'm just going to put the salt in there. If you want to do Splenda, go for it. Zipper's going to freak out because... Okay, Zipper's upset now because he doesn't like the stand mixer or this little chopper all right so put that in there got my butter y'all spatula I know it's probably backwards for you but from Miss Paula Dean all right we're just gonna mix this up this is what's gonna be our crust if like I said if you want to do the sweet version just put stevia splenda monk fruit whatever you want in there I'm not. I did salty. I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. I'm doing a coarse salt into it. If you're doubling, obviously do three cups. All right. All right. So I'm going to use this 8x8. Spray it well. It sucks because you can't see the sides like a lot of people like to do it that way can see the layers but oh well it is what it is oh my god these allergies you guys they are 
I took a sinus pill earlier, but now I feel like I have a sinus headache and this stupid cough from, I was doing good for like two weeks. And now they just had on the news that it's already starting to get bad. It's so annoying. It just like takes your breath away. Okay. Get it all off there. Yummy, yummy in our tummies. Okay, 350 for about 15 minutes until it's nice and brown. Okay, in the meantime, I have um, four ounces of cream cheese softened in here. Like I said, double if you need to. I'm using whatever sweetener I want. I'm using the Swerve like confectioner sugar sweetener. Um, all right. I'm using that. It's scary. It's very powerful. But I didn't want to get out my, um, or use my big, it's always out, but I want to use my big KitchenAid. Okay, so now, that thing is so powerful. Oh my God. Um, half a cup of heavy cream. All right, so I just used this because I had butter in it earlier, but I just need a half a cup. there. Okay, hopefully I don't get too dirty. You can hear a zipper in the background. So you're going to do this until it's really blended and kind of fluffy. That's how that is. The, the the crust is still in the oven, so we're still gonna have to wait for that to cool. So maybe I'll slice some strawberries. All right. So I took the tops off. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna be able to see, but oops, I did it so beautifully on that one. <laughs> Zipper, don't hit the camera. And that's when you can fan them beautifully. So you do the length ways. Oh, bless you. Okay. All right. Those are all sliced, ready to go into the jello once we get that made. Here it is out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool. And then the next step is to put the cream cheese on. Okay, so now. It's nice and cool, and I'm going to take the cream cheese mixture and spread it all over top, um, and then it's going to go in the fridge for about a good 15-20 minutes because we want it to get kind of sour. Actually, it's kind of solid now because it's been sitting all this time, but um, that way it'll set up for when we put the jello over on top of it. So hold on. Okay, if it sets up, um, just put it back in the microwave for just a little bit to try and make it just a little warmer, like 10 seconds. Because I did have a little, it was too solid right there and it kind of pulled up. I will tell you, it tastes amazing. I highly recommend putting salt in the nuts. Okay, so we want this. I know, no one's even gonna see this one in mine because you won't see the layers because of this pan I chose, but, um, You want to make sure you got all the sides covered so the jello on one area. Mmm, that's good. I tasted it. Okay, like 20 minutes, put it back in the fridge. Or, well, not back in the fridge, but put it in the fridge so this gets all solid again. Kind of like it was just a minute ago when it kind of ripped my crust. <laughs> and then we'll do the jello. Okay, so why did it 
almost done in the fridge. I'm taking just one cup of hot water. I just put it in the microwave for like a minute. And um, I'm putting this little sugar-free strawberry packet in here. Oh, God, it smells so good. Don't mind the dang, I got something in my air fryer to eat for lunch. I don't think I've ever made the salad. It takes a little time in between. But I also make Easter and Thanksgiving dinner and I take care of all the food. So <laughs> I guess if this is a dish for someone to bring to something, I guess they could put a little more effort into the instead of the hostess. Alright, I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then I'm going to put the strawberries in it and pour it over top. Okay, this is definitely, it's not moving. See, we're good to go. I kind of think I'm just, whoops. <laughs> Place them. That way they're pretty. I don't know, like I said, I don't think I've ever made one. So. Just get them all on there. I know some of you are probably going to panic because I'm not doing this perfectly, but I don't really care. Should I do it this way or this way? Well, oh, probably should have done it the other way, huh? Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Look at me go. Jeez. The next one I do someday, I promise, I will. <laughs> what the hell, Rachel? Okay, we're going to do some. Damn it. I was trying to do some kind of pattern there, but it's not working out. Okay, so we're just going to stuff them. Okay, we're stuffing. We're stuffing it. Over layer a little bit because I got all these cut. We're just going to make it not so pretty. I don't really care. Oops, that one just flung in. Let's be honest with you, this, is, this takes a while. It doesn't, it, it's just layers. Because I'm not a layer person. I want my shit done right away. <laughs> so I can move on to the next. All right, here we go. All right, so guess what we get to do now? It goes back in the fridge for another three to four hours <laughs> for this to settle up. Okay, I can't wait. It smells so good. So I'm a little bummed because I know I can make it, but I didn't think about it till now that I don't have any whipped cream. I thought I had some whip or like the spray can, the sugar-free spray can in there, but I don't. But oh well, we're gonna make two. Let me try it out. All right. So. Oh my God. That is so good. Oh my God. I'm so glad I put salt in the bottom. Oh my God. Sorry. And I do like, I wouldn't do the almond flour. You could do the almond flour, but if you want the, the version that it tastes like the pretzels, like mimicking pretzels a chunkier base like the pecans 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 whatever is really good this is so good I'm so excited I made it okay you know I know I bitch that it took all day I had to sit and be patient couldn't have it right away I get it I get it but it's worth it Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
put that Oh my god, it's good. I can't wait for my husband to try this. Oh, I can't wait to, I'm going to take a picture and send it to Cousin Lisa. Yum. I'm so excited. That shit is good. Mmm. Jeez, why have my hair? Alright, so anyway... Okay, so overall, taste amazing. Pretty much like the pretzel thing. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really, I mean, I don't eat the pretzel thing a lot. I only eat it like probably once a year when, uh, like at Christmas, when they have it, when they have Christmas at their house and then um, the cousins make it and stuff. But it's so good. It's so good. I'm so excited about it. You need to try it. Um, I'm glad I made a small one, though. So I wouldn't waste it having being so good, and then I wouldn't waste it. You know what I mean? So, But I will definitely make this again. Definitely. This is so good. So anyway, besides saying that like 20 times, hopefully uh, you will try this recipe and let me know what you think down below. Or tell me if you like the original version of like the pretzel one, you know, or you guys know that one. You have it at your family gatherings. Um, I like a lot of the classics when it comes to family dinners and stuff. So anyway, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to. And yay! I'll see you on the next time. Cheers!